Hey, hey, how you doing? HMS TV! <laughs> Hello, Hopkins in Middle School, and welcome to a new episode of HMS Today. I'm your guest host, Chris Pomeroy. Over at the high school, your TV club hosted our last episode of HHS Today, so I'm here to return the favor. You have a great show here, and the first thing I did was take a look around your studio. Uh, we used to have these cameras at the high school, and I actually built that machine right down there. Nice green screen. We've got one of those too, just a little bit bigger at the high school. Nice teleprompter. We have one of those too, but this one's actually better than ours. Yes, you have an awesome studio, which is definitely not a closet. Now let's get to some segments. First up today is a new minute with the principal. Hey, hey, we do that at the high school too. We're here today with some of the members of Annie to talk a little bit about the upcoming show on Friday and Saturday night. Camille, Lauren, Aaron, Owen, and Miss Porter are here. And let's. Sure. So, Annie, it's coming up, the spring musical, and we're getting really excited. So, I'd like some of my cast members to just introduce themselves and say what role they're playing. I'm Owen, and I'm FDR. I'm Aaron, and I'm Annie. I'm Lauren, I'm Grace Farrell. I'm Camille, and I'm July. Great. So, Owen, why? what has been your favorite part about coming, uh, being a part of the musical? The wheelchair. I get to go wicked fast. <laughs> great. And Erin, why should people come see Annie? Because it's a great experience. And, and Lauren, when, it, when are the shows? Friday and Saturday at 7. And Camille, how much does it cost to go to the production of Annie? $10 for students and seniors, $12 for adults, but... If you give a donation to Project Just Because, you get $2 off. Well, you heard it from them. Please come to see our production. It's going to be great Friday and Saturday night at 7 o'clock right here at HMS. Very cool. And now it's time for an update from the Writing Warriors, the HMS group that encourages you to submit an essay on what you believe. Today, they're going to announce their latest winner. Last month, we asked you to submit essays about what you, what you believe in. Today, we picked, we picked the winner from those students that submitted the essays. The winner is Karen Tang. Congratulations. You can pick up your Hopkinton water bottle with Mrs. McBride in the front office. Thank you, Jamie, Adam, Tom, Emma, Tori, and Karen for submitting your essays. We look forward to hearing from more of you next month. Check out, your, check out our website for all the essays we received. Some, some essays that I read that I liked were No School Shootings and Believing in believing in yourself. See you next month. Writing is a skill that will help in everything you do, so find something you believe in, write an essay, and visit this website to submit yours and read writing from other students. Next up, I brought a segment over with me from the high school. In fact, this will be the very first segment to air on both the middle and high school shows. So that's something. A while back, HMS TV asked, what would you ask a high schooler? HHS TV has your answers. Did you like high school better or middle school better? I like high school better because you have a lot more choice in what classes you take, so you can learn more about what you enjoy. What, why does high schoolers have those tired faces? Because we have a lot of homework, and then we end up going to bed really late, and we wake up really early, and it's exhausting. Is high school all it's hyped up to be? Yee. Yes, it's exciting because I get to play basketball. Our Student sections at football games as hyped as they seem? Yes, I think they are definitely as hyped as they seem. I know that uh, Hopkins and Hiller fans uh, can be very loud and create a pretty raucous environment. And there is a really, really great commentary by the Hopkins and PA staff. What dink memes do you guys all view? Oh, that's Anything SpongeBob related. Is high school fun? I mean, at times. Ah! You have a lot of fun and interesting things waiting for you at the high school, but don't lose sight of the fact that you have fantastic opportunities here at HMS as well. Lastly, it's time for question of the day. There were actually so many answers from the last episode that today we're bringing you the rest of the responses to, what would you be famous for? I would be famous for being on an episode of Joey's World Tour. Take the salt. If I were to be famous, it would be for my dancing. <laughs> oh my God. Be a meme. For having the best house in the world. For being a hairstylist for Gretchen. Our looks. I would want to be famous for singing or acting. Being awesome. <laughs> being awesome. <laughs> being a savage. <laughs> I can't. My SoundCloud rapping. A magical magician. 
I would be famous because I'm a professional Fortnite player. Thanks to everyone who answered. You're fantastic. You probably already know what I'll be famous for. And now it's time for the birthday scroll. Birthday scroll? We don't have a birthday scroll. Hey, very nice. Happy birthday. Finally, it's Have You Seen This Time. This is the picture from last episode, and congratulations to John Gallagher, who was randomly selected from the correct responses to win this Copper HCAM water bottle. That's all for today. Look for a new contest next week, find everything HMSTV at our website, and send comments and suggestions to HMSTV at Hillers.org. On behalf of everyone who works hard to bring you HMS today, I'm Chris Pomeroy. Now go have a great day.